Hey, Facebook, it has been a minute. I'm going to wait on Facebook to build me an audience. You guys, come on in. Come on in. Eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God wants to do in you and through you. Come on in very quickly. It's been a minute. I'm already hyped up. I already feel the Holy Ghost. I don't know who needs to hit a word on tonight, but baby, it's been 30 days since I've went live. So I need you to come in tagging and sharing. The number tonight is seven. I need you to tag seven people you love, seven people you care about, seven people you want to motivate on tonight, people of God, because I believe someone is about to be set free. So very quickly, I need you to tag like never before. The Bible says that where are two or more are gathered. Gathered. He is in the midst. The only way we can come in agreement, people of God, with what you need God to do in your life is if I say something that moved your spirit. If you can relate, all you got to do is hit tag, hit share, comment below. That's the only way we can come on one accord virtually. I didn't come to play with the devil on tonight. So very quickly, people of God, I need you to tag seven people, seven people you love, seven people you care about, seven people that you want to motivate. Do you know that the enemy gets upset most when you are obedient? Oh, I don't know who this is for, but watch this. The very first seed you can put in the ground is simply by tagging seven people. Come on, people of God. Oh, I already feel God. Oh, I don't know who this is for on tonight, but somebody about to get the answers. They've been praying praying for. I don't know who this is for on tonight, but somebody is about to be set free. I don't know who this is for people of God on tonight, but somebody is about to get clarity. I don't know who this is for on tonight, people of God, but somebody is about to be reminded that God is still in control. Can I just minister to somebody's soul on today and encourage you to just keep living? Come on. Oh, come on. Y'all know I can't get started until I feel like everyone is on here who's supposed to be on on here. So very quickly, people of God, I need you to tag and share. Come on, come on, very quickly. Tag and share. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. It's been 30 days since I went live. Sometimes you just got to stop. You got to take a moment, baby. You got to take a break. You got to clear your head. You got to get your mind right so you can come up against what the enemy is throwing at you. Rachel Morio, thank you for tagging and sharing. Nay being me. Ben me, thank you for tagging and sharing. Come on. Tasha Turner, thank you for tagging and sharing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just for three more minutes. I need y'all to go crazy right now and help me bombard heaven right now because I'm believing that after this message, something supernatural is about to happen on tonight. I believe that after this message, come on, somebody, the chaos that's in your household is about to turn around after tonight. I believe, people of God, that after this message, come on, some Somebody is about to be set free. I believe that tonight after this message, Holy Ghost, I ask that you have your way that by morning it shall be done. Come on, just another 120 more seconds. I'm act asking you to tag and share like crazy. Come on, come on. Tag seven people. It's going to take a minute because, baby, I ain't been on live in 30 days. But come on, come on, come on. I need some people who don't mind going crazy with me tonight. Hallelujah. To help me put the enemy up under your feet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Tag and share. Tag and share, people of God. Tag and share. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. Come on, just 60 more seconds. Help me upset the enemy on today on your behalf. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Push a little bit, people of God. I decree and declare that eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God he wants to do in you and through you. Yes, you, the one that's watching this video, may the blessings of God run down everyone who has tagged and shared on this live. I Listen, I know it's hard to encourage somebody when you already going through your own stuff but maybe it's something about when you can tag and share, you can uplift somebody in the midst of all the chaos you got going on. That's when you really see God move. So tonight's message, we're going to go ahead and get started. People of God, and like I said, if you are blessed by the word on tonight, hit tag, hit share, comment below. Let me know that you're relating to what I'm saying. So before I get started, let's go ahead and pray and bind up any demonic force. We cancel every assignment of the enemy that might try to move in the airwaves right now. We decree and declare the blood of Jesus over this live right now. God, may you bless everybody who's tagging and sharing. Bless everybody who's commenting. God bless 
bless everybody who needs your blessing on tonight. And we ask that you do it expeditedly. God, do it quickly. Do it swiftly. Do it right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. People of God, I, I, I pondered for a little bit on what I was going to speak on on tonight because I haven't been live in 30 days. <clears throat> and people of God, the Holy Ghost told me to come and tell you the one that's watching this video really simple. He said, keep living. Two simple things. Keep living. Come on. I need you to put that thing in capital letters down below. Keep living. God said this next season you are entering will require you to do two simple things and that's just keep living. You better catch that in the spiritual realm. It ain't gonna take for you to do much. It ain't gonna take for you to do much but it's gonna take for you to do two simple things people of God and that's keep living. When the Holy Ghost gave me that I said mighty God I can think of just how many times within the last 30 days I wanted to give up. I can think about how many times in the last two months. Come on, who am I speaking to? Well, I wanted to throw in the tower. See, tonight's live ain't going to be for just any and everybody. Tonight's live is for the real folk, the real people, the real people who say things ain't been peaches and cream in my life. It's for the real people who don't mind saying, I ain't never been at the point I've been in my life. It's for the real people who don't mind saying, God, I done prayed for everybody else, but I need you to take a moment and stop by my house. He said, all he needed you to do, people of God, it's two simple things and that's keep living. He wants you to give it all you got in this season. You better get what I'm saying. Sorry, people are coming in, calling in. Please do not call the number pinned at the bottom right now, people of God. Watch this. He said, all he wants you to do is give it all you got. I know you might be saying, Evangelist Shakira, that's simple. I've been giving it all I got. I've been giving everything I can. I've been giving my last even when I ain't have it. I've been giving my prayers out to people when I ain't had strength to pray for myself. I've been giving it all I got. But baby, it's something. Let me tell you, the one that's watching this video, it's something about, come on, somebody, when you you giving it all you got and you put two simple words behind it and it, it's keep living. God said all he wants you to do in this season so you can see the manifestation of your prayers is something simple like keep living. He said give it all you got. Come on somebody. He, he, he just wants you to not be weak in this season. A lot of us don't want to say we weak. A lot of us don't want to say we almost gave in. A lot of us don't want to say we had some snot and some tears by that, behind that last thing because it almost broke us but we are walking in a season people of God where you don't have time to be weak why because the enemy is after your bloodline you don't have time to be weak why because the enemy is after your children baby you don't got time to be weak why because the enemy been after your mind you better hear what I'm saying to you God said all he wants you to do is walk and not faint to trust come on somebody without giving in to trust him without doubt he said to tell the people of God Keep on keeping on. But if you don't do nothing else, keep living. Somebody ought to comment below, baby. I'ma keep living. I'ma keep living. I'ma 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 keep living where I'm being whether I'm being talked about. I'ma I'ma keep living whether come on somebody. I ain't got a dime in my pocket. I'ma keep on living. Come on, somebody. Watch this whether I'm sick in my body. I'ma keep on living. You better hear what I'm saying. Whether I'm taking care of them children on my own. I don't know who that is for. I'm speaking to that single mother. Come on, who is at their breaking point? Who am I speaking to? You better hear what I'm saying. God said, all you gotta do is keep living. Living. Why? Because if you keep living, come on, somebody, you are about to outlive the curse. Somebody ought to comment below. I'm going to outlive the curse. I'm, I'm going to outlive the curse. Some of you people of God don't even understand that God is doing something amazing in your life, but you're not patient. You give, oh, Jesus, let me back that thing up because somebody might have missed it. God is doing something amazing as we speak in your life right now, but you are not patient. You don't have enough patience to watch him work out. You better get what I'm saying. You, you don't have enough patience. You give up before the assignment is complete. We are walking in a season, baby, where you got to get that give up spirit off of you. Somebody ought to comment below. Quitting is not an option. You are in a season, watch this, where if you give up, come on somebody, everybody behind you fail. I'm talking to a few people on tonight where they got to carry all the weight where everybody depending on them. If you give up, come on somebody, everybody else behind you fail. Everybody else behind you go down and God said all he wants you to do is to keep living. Why? 
Because this thing is about to be so big. What God is about to do in your life, it's about to be sweatless. For you to keep living, it costs you nothing. For you to keep living, you that means you're going to get up and roll out your bed and put your feet on the ground and say, I'm going to give today another chance. You better catch that in the spiritual realm. I'm talking to some people who don't mind saying I've been broke, busted, and disgusted. I'm talking to some people who don't mind saying I've been laying there depressed and overeating with chocolate. I'm talking to some people who don't mind saying I've been stalking his Facebook page ever since he left. I'm talking to some people who don't mind saying I keep checking my bank account. Come on, believe in God to get it out of the nigga. I'm talking to some people who, who don't mind saying, you know what? I'm sick of uh, 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 robbing Peter to pay Paul. God said, all he wants you to do is keep living. Because what he, what, what, what he about to do for you is about to be so big. It's about to be so pay, so so amazing, but it's going to require some patience. It's one thing about us people, we don't want to be patient when it comes to God. We, we, we want to put our hands in. We want to be all in his business. And all he's saying is, you need to mind your business in this season. Why? Because he's up to something. All he wants you to do is keep living. God said, child... I'm talking to you, the one that's watching this video. He said he loves you. And all you got to do is keep living. I'm, I'm talking to the people who don't mind saying I've cried this week. I've, I've cried this month. I've cried this year. If that's you, I, don't, I want you to unapologetically put some tear emojis below because that takes boldness. I'm talking to a few people. Who said, come on somebody, I, I ain't been in my right state of mind lately because it's, it's so much on me. I'm talking to some people who don't mind saying, I, I've been battling that demon in the dark. Come on, mighty God, I've been battling that demon behind closed doors. God said, all he wants you to do is to keep living because you are about to outlive the curse. Some of you, God said, you're about to outlive every lie that have been spoken on you. You about to outlive the generational curse. Oh, I don't know who I'm speaking to. You are, you about to outlive, come on somebody, that thing you're doing just because it's been in your bloodline. A lot of you, come on somebody, you you drinking and tilting the, the bottle because daddy was a drunk or granddaddy was a drunk. Or a lot of you, come on, who am I speaking to? You, you, you getting high because mama got high and grandmama got high. Come on, a lot of you, you living in poverty. Watch this because it all, it was all you seen mama do. You better hear what I'm saying to you. God said you're about to outlive the generational curse. Some of you are about to outlive the people who are rejected, who have rejected you. I need somebody to comment below. I felt rejection before. Rejection, it ain't a cute thing, baby. I've been there where I've been rejected by people. I love rejection. It's something serious. It will send you into depression. It will have you angry with people. And God is saying you're about to outlive everyone who's rejected you. I remember, I, I think the man's uh, 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 name was Mike something. Mike Larry, Mike Jones something. And he had a song said, back then they didn't know me, but now I'm hot. They all on me. He said, back then they didn't know me, but now I'm hot. They all on me. You better get what I'm saying. You were rejected in the same ones you were rejected by. Come on, somebody. They about to see God elevate you to another level, but you got to do two things, and that's keep living. Keep living. Somebody ought to come in that thing in capital letters. You don't even understand as you type that thing in capital letters over and over tonight. You're sending something in the spiritual realm. He said, all you got to do is keep living. God said, just keep living. Just keep living. You, you should outlive the voices that keep you up at night. There were times I would find myself, I just can't sleep. I don't pray. I don't read the Bible. I don't watch movies. I done tuned into Netflix. I done scrolled over social media, but it was something about them voices that can't shut up in your head. Could I, come on, could I, could I have some people that don't mind keeping it real tonight? God said, all you got to do is keep living. It's nothing like tossing and turning and having demons. Come on, somebody pin you to the bed. Could I, could I keep it real for a moment? Have demons whisper in your ear and kiss you in your ear and tell you you ain't going to never be nothing. You ain't going to never amount to nothing. You ain't going to never be enough. Could I, could I talk to some people who still battle those voices in your head? God said, just keep living. You're about to outlive every voice 
You about to outlive every generational curse. You about to outlive everything that has already broken you. And, and listen, watch this. God said some of you are about to outlive that separation or that divorce. Some of you are about to outlive that separation or that divorce. Meaning you're going to see God fix it. You're going to see God mend it. You're going to see God get y'all back to that place where y'all was crazy about each other. Well, when they see you, they see him. Well, when they see him, baby, they see you. He about to get you back into that place where y'all know y'all bunny and Clyde-ish again. Come on, who am I speaking to? Where is it? You see him in the grocery store, baby, you see me. God said he still has time to fix broken relationships, but you got to outlive the lie. Too many of y'all want to die. You depressed. You want to give up just because the relationship ain't working right now. And God is saying all he needs you to do is do two things. And that's keep living. When I talk to you on tonight, the one that's watching this video, could you do me a favor and just keep living? Something simple like waking up and saying, I'm going to give it another try today. Something simple like waking up and saying, I'm going to try to smile again today. Something simple like waking up and saying, you know what? I'm going to give it another try. I know I was denied before, but I'm going to go back at it again. God said, all you got to do is keep living. Nobody want to live no more. Nobody want to live no more. Nobody want to run up on the devil and say, that's all you got. Everybody weak, everybody giving in, everybody all in their feelings. The type of demonic forces we are fighting this season, you ain't got time to be emotional. That's one thing I hate. It's when you get in your feelings, baby, that's when the enemy can overcome you the most. When you get in your feelings, baby, that's when you ain't got a chance. When you get in your feelings, baby, that's when the devil can do whatever he want to do to you. God said, all you got to do is keep living. Get up every day and bless him for what you don't got. Get up every day and thank him for what's to come that you don't even know. Get up every day and say, God, I trust you even when I don't trust myself. God, I, I trust you when I can't trace you. God, I ain't got no other choice to trust you. Have you ever been in a spot where you ain't have no other choice? But to trust God. Who am I speaking to? God said to tell the people of God, it's really simple. Just keep living. Some people don't know what it's like just to get up in the morning. What it takes for you to wake up daily. You're living in depression. You're living in frustration. You're being overwhelmed. Everything is on you. You fighting for your life. They don't know what it takes for you just to wake up and live. Because people don't understand what you're battling in the background. Somebody ought to comment below, baby. You don't know what it takes. You don't, you don't know what it takes for me to wake up and fight depression daily. Baby, you don't know what it takes. You don't, you don't know what it takes for me to make it just from the morning to the afternoon time without with, with, with fighting suicidal thoughts. Come on, who am I speaking for today? Baby, you don't know what it takes for me to make it through eight hours in the day. It's, it's simple for you because you ain't battling what I'm battling. It's, it's simple for you because you ain't fighting what I'm fighting. It's, it's simple for you, but it takes a lot for me to wake up. People don't understand what it takes for you to make it through 24 hours when you wanted to drive your car off a bridge. People don't know what it what it what it takes for you to stay woke 24 hours when you want to overdose on pain pills. People don't know what it takes for you to stay up 24 hours. And God said, "It's I'm sorry, it's so many people calling in, and God is saying all He wants you to do is just keep on living." All he wants you to do is, is keep on living. He don't want you to worry about who on social media living like they got it all together. He don't want you to worry about who's who's acting like, you know, they this and they that and really they going through their own stuff. He don't want you to do that. All he wants you to do is keep living. I ain't been on live in 30 days, but I'm on live tonight to tell you the one that's watching this video. I want you to keep living. I want you to keep trusting God. I want you to keep believing. Why? Because you're about to outlive the lie. You're about to outlive everything they said you. You wouldn't become, but you got to you gotta keep living. You got to keep believing. You got to keep pressing. You got to keep moving. You got to keep pushing. You got to keep going. I want somebody to come in below. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going. He says, child, just keep living. Something simple. 
He said, could you trust me when you can't trace me? You better catch that in the spiritual realm. I don't know who that is for because it's so often that we try to act like we got it all together. But God said, could you trust him when you can't trace him? He said, all he needs you to do is to keep living something so simple. Just keep living. Just keep living. Come on. I need y'all to type that. I know y'all sick of hearing me saying that, but I promise you the more you type it in, the, the more you say it, come on, you back the devil up. The more you type it in, the more you say it, come on, you dispatch angels. The more you type it and the more you say it, God begin to work. Come on. Some of you are going to outlive. You better get what I'm saying. Those court charges. You better mighty God. I don't know who that is for. God said, all you got to do is keep living I've watched them work that means get up without being depressed that means get up and keep on believing that means get up and keep on moving he said quitting is not an option because he's equipped you for the war it's something about baby when you're going into a battlefield and you already equipped for the war the enemy can't do nothing with you then when you are already equipped for the war and because you're equipped for the war, you better hear what I'm saying. You shall outlive every struggle. Somebody ought to comment below. I shall not struggle anymore. You better put that thing in capital letters. You better not be embarrassed. I'm talking about that struggle where you was waiting on your income tax check. I don't know who this is for, but in the minute the income tax changed, it was gone because you had bills to pay. You got to do some things for your children. You needed a new car. Come on, somebody. You better hear what I'm saying. I'm saying you will outlive the struggle. You better hear what I'm I'm saying God is saying you will outlive come on living pillow to post you will outlive living paycheck to paycheck you will outlive borrow borrowing and begging you will outlive that bad credit score you will outlive that negative bank account you better comment below and say I shall outlive it God said all you got to do is keep living I said, God, you didn't, you didn't want to give me no scriptures to give them tonight. He said, no, because sometimes we got to go back and make it basic. We got to go back and make it plain. He said two words, keep living, keep breathing, keep believing, keep trusting. It won't always be like this. It's going to get better. Keep moving. Keep knowing that God is God. Keep standing up. Every time you get knocked down, get back up again. Keep having faith. Say, God, there's so many people going through it behind closed doors. And people don't even know what they're battling. And God is saying, because nobody want to live anymore. The enemy is, he, he, he has everybody feeling so weighed down and so overwhelmed. And it seems like God ain't going to fix it. But you're giving up before he can even show you the manifestation of your prayers. I don't know who that is for. You're giving up before he can even show you the manifestation of your, your, your prayers. You're giving up before he can show you the manifestation of your prayers. And all he's saying is keep living. He's the same God who did it before. You, 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 you think he's forgotten? You know. He just want to know, can you trust him when you can't trace him? I don't know who that is for. Can you can you trust him when it seems like God is not there? I don't know who that is for. Can you enter that person who's putting the tear emojis, who's been crying? I'm okay with that because tears are just silent prayers. What people don't know, baby, cry, baby, cry. The song say, it's my party. I could cry if I want to, baby, cry, baby, cry. Do what you got to do, but you keep on living. You keep on pressing. You will outlive. The death sentence the enemy have on your life. Some of you are about to outlive the generational curse. You better get what I'm saying. God said some of you are about to outlive the medication. I know what they said. I know what they said. I know what the doctor report said. You better get what I'm saying. But some of you are about to be healthier than you've ever been before. God said all you got to do is keep living. Something simple. Keep living. You cannot give up in this season. That's what the enemy wants you to do. He said, tell my kids, my, my, my daughter whom I favor, my son whom I love the most to keep on living. He told me, don't hit you with scripture. Don't hit you with Bible today. Keep it simple for you because some of y'all uh, feel like nobody needs you on this earth. 
Like life would be better without you. Devil is a liar. There are souls tied to your obedience. But you got to keep living. You got to keep living. God said your tears are not unheard. He said your suffering daughter, son, has not been overlooked. He said your loneliness has not been unseen. Who am I speaking to? He said your brokenness, come on somebody, shall not def uh, uh, condemn you. All he wants you to do is keep living. I know y'all are saying evangelist, that this word is it's so simple. But you'll be, high, you'll, you'll be amazed at how many people really want to give up because life is hard. Whoever told you that life was easy was a liar. Whether you saved or not, it's a struggle every day just to do something simple like smile. It's a struggle every day just to do something simple like be your kids' heroes. Can I talk to some parents who, who didn't have it but you, you couldn't let your kids know you ain't have it? Because they see you as their heroes. You don't have to cry in the shower. Come on, has anybody ever been there? Has anybody ever been there? I remember why, when I thought I was getting ready to go through with a divorce with my husband. I would wait till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning to cry when my kids are sound asleep. You better get what I'm saying. Because why? They thought I've always been their hero. They never seen me break down. They never seen me give in. Could I talk to some parents who don't mind saying you, you, you've been in that low place. But you, but, but you got little ones up under you who call you their hero. So it's a lot for you to keep living. Some of you are only living just because of them. You better get what I'm saying. God said you are about to outlive everything that has cut you condemned. So I decree and declare you shall live to see the new keys. Somebody ought to comment below. Send the keys. Send the keys. Come on. As I go to do. do oh, Jesus. I feel you, Holy Ghost. As I go to decree. And I'm going to. Oh, God. I hear your voice. I'm going to start decreeing some things in the atmosphere. And watch this. When I move, you move just like that. If I go to saying something that touched your spirit. Because we are virtual. The only way we can come on one accord. You better get what I'm saying. Is if you type. And you come in agreement with the words that are coming out of my mouth. Because I am not next to you. I'm I'm going to put some things in the atmosphere and it's up to you to receive it right now. God said to you, the one that's watching this video, baby, all you got to do is keep living. I decree and declare you shall live to get the new keys. Oh, I don't know who that is for. Some of you watch this. You have the desire to decorate your own children's room. You, you have the desire, come on, to stand there holding that big key that says new homeowner. You have the desire, come on, to walk onto that car lot. You better get what I'm saying. God God said that you shall live to receive the new keys. Somebody should say, God, send the keys. God, send the keys. God said you shall live. You better hear what I'm saying. Come on, somebody, to have a healthy pregnancy. Baby, I don't know who this is for, but I decree and declare that you shall have a full-term pregnancy. I decree and declare, come on, that you shall get pregnant. In, uh, you shall get pregnant. Come on, this year, I decree and declare. Watch this. You're going to get double for your trust. You've always said you ain't want twins. You just want one child and it's been a struggle just to get that. And God said in this season, he got to give you double for your trouble. You shall live. Come on, somebody to have that uh, uh, relationship. Watch this. Be so great that you feel appreciated this time around. You should watch this. Come on, you better hear what I'm saying. Some of watch this. Some of you women shall see the manifestation and the prayers for your baby daddy, and for your husband, and, and for your fiance. Come on, some of you shall live to see your family member come on delivered of addiction. Some of you shall live. Watch this to see better days. God said, all you got to do is keep living. You shall live to write the book. You shall live to beat the court charges. You, you shall live to see your, ooh, I just heard the Holy Ghost said, is somebody on here that shall live to see their child release? Ooh, I hear you, Father. God does the impossible. He said that you, should, you shall live to see your child release. Because God does the impossible, the impossible. You shall live to see your account in a place where you're comfortable. You, you shall live to start the business. But God said all he needs you to do is two things. And that's keep living. The enemy gets upset. 
when you decide to say, I'm going to live again. The enemy gets upset when you decide to say, I'm going to keep fighting for my marriage. The enemy gets upset when you decide to say, God, I know you told me this was my husband, so I'm going to fight for it. The enemy gets upset when you begin to say, you can't have my children. The enemy gets upset. Come on, who am I speaking to? When you begin to say, people of God, that uh, uh, I ain't going to be on medication all my life, the enemy gets upset. When you begin to say, you know what, I, I, I relapsed, but I'm going to get this thing another try. The enemy gets upset. When you begin to say, I'm, 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 I'm more than minimum wage. Woo, Jesus, I don't know who that is for. The enemy gets upset. When you begin to say, I'm more than minimum wage, the enemy gets upset. When you begin to say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, the enemy gets upset. When you begin to say, I silence the suicide voices and I silence the voices telling me anything that is not like God, the enemy gets upset. God said to you, the one that's watching this video, all he wants you to do is keep living. Come on, one more time, y'all. I need you to type that quickly in capital letters. Keep living, keep living, keep living. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I decree and declare that as you begin to type that thing in capital letters to the bottom of the screen, watch this, that, that things will begin to shift and things will begin to move and angels will be dispatched. God said, don't come and give them scripture tonight. I can throw you a hundred scriptures. He said, don't come and give you Bible tonight. Just come and give you a simple word and simple instructions. And that's keep living. Don't let the devil make you throw in the towel. Keep living, Jessica. Keep living, Kenyatta. Come on, I don't know who this is for. Keep living, April. Keep living, Christina. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can only come in agreement with you over social media. Keep living, come on. Keep living, Tabitha. Keep living, Kiki. Come on, come on. Quickly, quickly, you ought to comment that thing below. Just keep living, Terrica. God said, that's all you got to do, Kim. Jalisha, Sharonica, Cynthia, keep living. Teresa, Angelina, keep living, Tara. Tammy Smith, keep living. King, keep living. King Tanika, Nala, keep living. I'm in agreement with y'all. Shay Redding, keep living. Raya, keep living. Alice, keep living. The devil is a liar. And he must return to the pit of hell. I decree and declare every demonic force have to leave your house tonight. And you know what? Tomorrow night I'm going to jump on at 10 p.m. Eastern time. And we're going to bind up demonic forces. We're going to bind up witchcraft. We're going to bind up spirits and spells. So if you are somebody who feel like there's a curse been on you. You want to tune in tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Let's break that thing together. Because I know the God I serve. Listen, people of God, before I go, it would be robbery for me. Some people were already sewing. These are my, my regulars that follow. But the information is pinned to the bottom. The phone number at the bottom is for Chime, Zelle, PayPal, and Cash App. You must put on in the whole number that you see at the bottom. Because if you don't, there are people who have made fake Cash Apps. And watch this. I want you to know what you're sewing to. Tonight, you're going to sew until, watch this, keep living. The seed amount tonight is going to be a $30 seed. Some of you are going to sow $30. Some of you are going to sow $130. But I want you to put keep living there. Only you know if you've been struggling. Some of you say, Evangelist Shakira, I don't got it. God already know that. You sow by tagging and sharing. Come on. But I am believing God. I am believing God to do it for you either way. So I don't know who this is for. But I want to I, 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 I wanna, I wanna encourage you quickly. And there are a lot of seeds coming through right now. Watch this. As you sow the $30 seed, some of you are going to sow $30. Some of you are going to sow $130. Some of you are going to sow $60 because you need to sow for you and somebody else. Some of you are going to sow $3. Some of you are going to sow $10.30. You got to pray, baby, and ask God what you need to give. The information is coming to the bottom. But I decree and declare from this day forth as you live, things should be sweatless. I decree and declare.
from this day forth, as you live, come on, I don't know who am I speaking to. Things are about to get better. I decree and declare from this day forth. Come on, somebody, as you put this seed in the ground, things are about to shift. And I always tell people, do not sow into me unless you pray to God first. Some of you, God might not say, don't sow into God. Sow into your own pastors. Some of you, God may say, sow into your own girls, sow into your friends. Pray about it. But I know I'm good ground. And if this word has blessed you, you better get what I'm saying. If this word has blessed you, be led to sow. The seed amount tonight is $30. $30 seed, $130 seed. Some of you are going to sow $30 and 30 cents. Some of you, it's going to be $60 because you sowing for you and somebody else. Some of you sowing that $130 because you need God to do it for your whole household. You saying evangelist, how could he, how could he save me and not my children? You better get what I'm saying to you. Some of you are going to sow into this, this business. Some of you are going to sow into this court case you fighting, but be led by God to sow. He said, all you got to do is keep living, Daisy. He's doing it. All you got to do is keep living, Trina. Real simple. Just keep living. Ain't nobody mad but the devil. We are in a season where we got to know how to put the enemy under our, our feet. Mm -hmm. Some of you are sowing into your mindset. Some of you are sowing into your joy. People don't even understand that it's been a struggle for you just to smile. I'm talking about genuinely smile from the inside out. Some of you sowing into your broken relationship. Come on, Shanitra, Kiana. Come on, I want y'all to keep coming in. I'm living, I'm living, I'm living, I'm living. I'm going to keep living because God said keep living. Kim, keep living. Don't nobody understand what you're battling, what you're going through. I'm receiving a bunch of seeds right now. Nikki Davis, I receive your seed. I'm reading some of them. Gerilyn Scott, I receive your seed. Brendel McCray, I receive your seed. Lakeisha Evans, I receive your seed. Tasha Wright, I receive your sheep. Receive your seed. Seed, Big Boys Barbecue, I receive your seed. Marilyn Ray, R-A-Y-E, I receive your seed. Listen, people of God, do not sow unless God is telling you to sow. Once again, the seed amount tonight is $30. It's going to be $30, $130, $30.30, $30, $30, $30, but put the number 30 in there somewhere. Somebody going to sow $15.30, $25.30, $27.30. Be led by God. But we are in a season where God is doing something great. And you, the one that's watching this video, all I want you to do is keep living. Cash App, Chime, Zelle, and PayPal is the phone number listed below. 754-246-0580. Blessings upon you, Tabitha. Blessings upon you, Kim. Keep living. Don't give up so easy. We are in a season where you got to have patience. To outlive the lie. To outlive the, the curse. And tomorrow night we'll be talking about that at 10 p.m. Eastern time. So if there's anybody battling uh, 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 voodoo, black magic, white magic, spells, uh, anything like that, I want you to invite them to this live tomorrow night at 10 p.m. I haven't, yes, I took out my goals. Yes, I did in Pearson's. It's been about... I took them out. I'm so sorry. There's so many people calling in asking, do I have other ways to sow? That's why the phone is ringing. It's kicking me off. Um, but listen, people of God. Yes, I took them out. It's been about three, four months now. Um, I removed them. Um, I love you guys. God bless you guys. Invite somebody to this live tomorrow night. Just keep on living. Take care. The information is to the bottom to sow. Cash App, Chime, and Zelle. And PayPal is 754-246-0580. Pray about it before you give. Follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. Instagram at Evangelist.Shakira. And YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I love you guys. God bless you guys. May the blessings of God be upon you. All you got to do is keep living. Take care.